Scientists are worried about this comet heading towards our Earth. Comet 214 UN271, also known as Comet Bernardinelli Bernstein, is quickly approaching us from the distant Oort cloud, a dark thick, dark thick cloud that envelops our solar system. It's one of the largest trans-Neptunian objects we have ever recorded, with a diameter of 100 miles across. How would this impact our Earth, and should we be worried? The Bernardinelli Bernstein, or simply 214 UN 271, is a potentially large Oort cloud comet. The Oort cloud, as we said, sometimes called Opic Oort cloud, first described in 1950 by a Dutch astronomer, theoretically concept of a cloud of predominantly icy planetesimal proposed to surround the Sun at a distance from about 2,000 to 200,000 AUs. So it's just beyond Neptune. So this uh, was discovered by astronomers Bernardinelli and Gary Bernstein in archival images from Dark Energy Survey, first imaged in October 2014. It was 4.3 billion kilometers or 29 AU from the Sun, almost as far as Neptune's orbit and the greatest distance that a comet has been discovered. In 2021, it's approaching the Sun at a distance between 19 AU or 2.8 billion kilometers and 21 AU, 3.1 billion kilometers, and will reach its perihelion of 10.9 uh, AU just outside of Saturn's orbit in January 2031. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. As we said, this is 100 miles across, so it's huge, with an observation arc of several years using dozens of observations. The orbit of this is securely known. Its incoming orbit in 1950 calculated by JPL Horizons. This indicates that this uh, Bernardinelli-Bernstein comet was at its furthest distance or epihelion of 40,000 AU in the Oort cloud around 1.5 million years ago, and it will come to perihelion closest to our Sun around January 23rd in about 10 years, 2031, at a distance of 10.95 AU, which is just outside of Saturn's orbit. But as we said, it's a huge, it's 100 miles across, it's a huge comet. So just outside of Saturn's orbit, it will make its closest approach to Earth April 5th, 2031, at a distance of 10.11 AU, and it will cross the ecliptic plane in August of 2033, when it is outbound, 12 AU from the Sun. Its outbound orbital period will be approximately 4.5 million years with an aphelion distance of about 54,000 AU. The object is only very loosely bound to the Sun as subject to perturbations by the galactic tide. Now, what are the perturbations? In astronomy, the perturbations is a complex motion of a massive body subject to forces other than the gravitational attraction of a single other massive body. The other forces can include a third body, like resistance as from the atmosphere, and the off-center attraction of an oblate or otherwise mis misshaped body. And the galactic tide is a tidal force experienced by objects subject to gravitational field of a galaxy, such as our Milky Way galaxy. Particular areas of interest concerning galactic tides include galactic collisions, the disruption of dwarf or satellite galaxies, and the Milky Way's tidal effect on the Oort cloud of our, our solar system. So all this can have an effect on the trajectory of this comet. Now with the current declination of minus 47 degrees, it's best seen from the southern hemisphere. Its cometary activity and evolution will be monitored by the Vera Rubin Observatory at its approach perihelium, 
once at perihelion, the comet that is going around towards the sun, the comet is not expected to get brighter than Pluto, mag 13 to 16, and is more likely to reach the brightness of Pluto's moon Charon, magnitude 16.8, as the comet does not enter the inner solar system where comets become notably more active. Even if it reaches the magnitude of Pluto in brightness, it will require about a 200 millimeter telescope to be visually seen. The similar size centaurs, 2000, uh, 2060 Chiron and 5145 Pholos, both come closer to the sun than this C214 UN 271 Bernardinelli Bernstein comet. And this is the information I got for you from Wikipedia. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support.